well, a few, just a few like light, lighter questions. If what was your, what would be your last meal on earth? Be yeah, that's a great question, because there there are certain things like you could you could say I want that crab or I want mm-hmm. that cow soy, and that's all terrific. But I have thought about this. If it's your last meal, mm-hmm. I think you want to go full circle, meaning back to what made you happy as a kid. Mm. So it would be a on the plate would be all the things I loved growing up. Right. Things that n- actually never left me. Mm-hmm. Love of pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, fried chicken, okay. you know, all that stuff, uh-huh. chocolate. And then I would finish with the one thing my mom made well, which was matzo ball chicken soup. Oh. Right? I've never had that. It's a lot like samgyet tang. It, oh, okay. It, except instead of the whole chicken in the soup, uh-huh. it's a big ball of dough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fluffy dough. All right. That's very light. Okay. If it's done well. Mm-hmm. And the broth, though, is very similar. Okay. The chicken, the chicken soup. Yeah. And so that's a comfort food, just like samgyet right. tang is. Yeah. Did I say it right? Samgyet tang, yeah. Sam, samgyet tang. That, that's a great dish. It, it, yeah. That's a comfort food. That, and I order that in Koreatown with the extra ginseng and garlic and deer antler and stuff for when I'm sick. You love all of it, yeah. Because it's a great like medicinal kind of… But do you know what they call Jewish matzo ball soup? You know what they call it? What do they Jewish call it? penicillin. Oh, really? There you yeah, go. Yeah, because it works. Something about, There's something about chicken soup something that about works. Something about chicken soup that works. So that would be that, you know, you want to be… If it's your last meal, uh, I think you want a certain degree of comfort. mm Right, fair enough. That that you know, even trumps the the delicious, mm-hmm. uh, most fabulous gold star Exuberate meal you ever had. Meal, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'm curious. You know, this came up earlier before we started the show a little bit. But if you don't, want, I don't know if I'm on it. But you invest in restaurants I as do. well. Is there? And you were we were talking about how you investing in it. It's kind of like contributing to the arts because you consider yes. food to be arts as well. I feel like when when chefs are uh, have hit on something delicious that mm-hmm. people love. It's an art form. Mm. It's like writing, mm-hmm. isn't it? Or painting. Mm-hmm. You've made something that other people Respond treasure. To, yeah. Right? Uh, so why not support that? Mm. Why is your sense of taste any less than your sense of sight or sound? That's cool. In fact, when you eat, it kind of incorporates all the senses, doesn't it? It does. And a great restaurant uh, transports you in a way that a great concert will, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or a great movie will. Right. And I love the social aspects of being in a restaurant. The only thing I don't like about modern day restaurants is that they're too loud because mm. that kills the social aspect of the mm. restaurant. When music is blasting it's hard and to I hear. can't hear you, right? Wh- why did I go out with you? Mm-hmm. Just to be, just to not hear you, right. not talk to you? Right, right, That's right. why I want to go with you to, to enjoy your company and learn something about you. And eat delicious food, yes. Mm. But, but I think a restaurant that has great ambiance and great visuals and, you know, a great atmosphere, mm-hmm. why are we blasting music? Well, I, I found out from being in the restaurant industry now a little bit, you know why they do that? Why? I'm cu- I'm actually curious. Why do you think they do it? I'm just… To get people out. That's exactly right. You're so smart. Yes. Because that was not… I, I did not guess that. Oh. They want you to eat quick and leave uh, to turn the table over. Okay. Isn't that cynical and terrible? That's I hate that. Because the restaurant mean. you you <laughs> like to think that it's the opposite that right. they want you to be there. Right. No, they don't want you to be there. They want you to eat, pay and leave. Flip the tables. Flip the tables. Right. I thought I honestly that was last on my list of things I would have thought of. I thought mm-hmm. it was oh they want to be hip and young and so they're blasting the music and the kids aren't uh talking to each other anyway they're looking uh-huh. at their phones anyway uh-huh no it's to, get to get people out, out of the restaurant Interesting. yes hey guys did you guys like that video then make sure you guys subscribe to dive studios youtube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way look at this video see wow wow and this and this is great too enjoy